Shemuel Rishon, 1 Samuel 23. Then they told David, saying, Behold, the Peleshitim fight against Keilah, and they rob at the threshing floors. Therefore David inquired of Yahuwah, saying, Shall I go and smite these Peleshitim? And Yahuwah said unto El David, Go and smite the Pelishtim, and say F, rather, and save F, Keilah. And David's men said unto him, Behold, we be afraid here in Yahuda. How much more than if we come to Keilah against the armies of the Pelishtim? Then David inquired of Yahuwah yet again. And Yahuwah answered him and said, Arise, go down to Keilah, for I will deliver Eth the Pelishtim into your hand. So David and his men went to Keilish, rather, Keilah, and fought with the Pelishtim, and brought away Eth their cattle, and smote them with a great slaughter. So David saved Eth the inhabitants of Keilah. And it came to pass, when Aviathar, the son of Aki Melech, fled to El David to Keilah, that he came down with an ephod in his hand. And it was told Shaul that David was come to Keilah. And Shaul said, Elohim has delivered him into my hand, for he is shut in by entering into a town that has gates and bars. And Shaul called Eth all the people together to war, to go down to Keilah, to besiege El David and his men. And David knew that Shaul secretly practiced mischief against him. And he said to Aviathar, the priest, Bring hither the ephod. Then said David, O Yahuwah Elohai, of Yashar'el, your servant has certainly heard that Shaul seeks to come to Keilah to destroy the city for my sake. Will the men of Keilah deliver me up into his hand? Will Shaul come down as your servant has heard? O Yahuwah Elohai of Yashar'el, I beseech you, tell your servant. And Yahuwah said, he will come down. Then said David, Will the men of Keilah deliver me and eth my men into the hand of Shaul? And Yahuwah said, They will deliver you up. Then David and his men, which were about six hundred, arose and departed out of Keilah and went whithersoever they could. And it was told Shaul that David was escaped from Keilah. And he forbear to go with, rather forth. And David abode in the wilderness in the strongholds, and remained in a mountain in the wilderness of Ziph. And Shaul sought him every day, but Elohim delivered him not into his hand. And David saw that Shaul was come out to seek at his life, and David was in the wilderness of Ziph in a wood. And Yahunathan, Shaul's son, arose and went to El David into the wood and strengthened at his hand in Elohim. And he said unto him, Fear not, for the hand of Shaul my father shall not find you, and you shall be king over Yashar'el, and I shall be next unto you. And that also Shaul my father knows. And they too cut a covenant before Yahuwah. And David abode in the wood, and Yahunathan went to his house. Then came up the Zephim to El Shaul to Givah, saying, Does not David hide himself with us in strongholds in the wood, in the hill of Chachil Allah, rather Chachila, which is on the south of Yeshimon? Now therefore, O king, 
come down according to all the desire of your soul to come down, and our part shall be to deliver him into the king's hand. And Shaul said, Blessed be ye of Yahuwah, for ye have compassion on me. Go, I pray you, prepare yet, and know and see at his place where his haunt is, and who has seen him there. For it is told me that he deals very subtly. See, therefore, and take knowledge of all the lurking places where he hides himself, and come ye again to me with the certainty, and I will go with you. And it shall come to pass, if he be in the land, that I will search him out throughout all the thousands of Yahudah. And they arose and went to Ziph before Shaul. But David and his men were in the wilderness of Me'an, in the plain on the south of Yashiman. Shaul also and his men went to seek him, and they told David. Wherefore he came down into a rock and abode in the wilderness of Me'an. And when Shaul heard that, he pursued after David in the wilderness of Me'an. And Shaul went on this side of the mountain, and David and his men on that side of the mountain. And David made haste to get away for fear of Shaul. For Shaul and his men compassed El David and his men round about to take them. But there came a messenger unto El Shaul, saying, Haste you and come for the Palishitim have invaded the land. Wherefore Shaul returned from pursuing after David and went against Eth the Palisht, Palishtim. Therefore they called the pl that, pl that place Sila Ham Maklikoth. And David went up from thence and dwelt in strongholds at Ain Gadi.